Hey guys, Soul Closet here, back making another video. And you may be wondering, well, I mean, I guess you read the title, but you may be wondering why you can see my recording software. Normally, you'd cut this kind of thing out. Well, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial at request of one of my friends to show you how to record full screen games using open broadcaster software. Now, if you don't know what open broadcaster software is, for one thing, it's more commonly referred to as OBS. Um, and if you don't know what it is, it's basically an open source and free recording software. So if you've ever heard of XSplit, um, that's another big one. Bandicam or Fraps, uh, those are big ones too. It can take the place of all of those. It can capture from game capture devices, so you don't need to use this guy. You can just use, like with an Elgato capture like I have, OBS works perfectly. And again, no cost. You may have to download a plugin, but it's free and it's official. So everything's well supported and everything works perfectly. And so because I love OBS and that's what I used to make all of my videos, I figured I'd show you guys, especially those of you that want to start your own YouTube channels, you know, somewhat soon and shit, I want to show you guys how to do stuff in OBS. So the first thing you're going to want to do for recording a game is you're going to want to find where you have the game and open it up. Now I'm going to be using Portal, uh, well rather Portal 2, to test this out. And it may be kind of loud, I may have to mess with the volume settings, so give me a second and I will open up the game and adjust the settings. Okay guys, so now that we have the whole thing set up, now that we have the game open, you can see down here Portal 2 is open. We're going to right click in the sources box and that's where you add you know, that's how I added my screen capture, that's how you add any sort of capturing in OBS other than audio, which is done through here. That's why you can see it moving. So you're going to right click and you're going to go to add. And then, this is important, if the game is in full screen, like mine is, you're going to want to select game capture from the list. If it's in a window, even if it's a maximized window, if a game is in a window, you want to do window capture. Never do monitor capture unless you want to capture the bar, the bar down here and any space on the desktop around a game. That'll also capture any Windows 8 extra stuff like I have here. That's what monitor capture does. Monitor capture basically takes your video card's output to your monitor through whatever cable and just clones it into a video file. So you don't want to do that for capturing games, even if the game is full screen. It's very important. So, in this case, I have Portal 2 full screened. It's minimized right now, but it's full screened. So I'm going to click Game Capture. I'm going to call it Portal 2, although it does not matter what you call it. I usually just leave the default names, but for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm going to name everything what it is. So, you'll see Application. It'll give you a little code thing, colon, and then the actual name that shows up down here. And I can capture the Games window, or I can capture Portal 2. Okay, you're going to want to probably stretch image to screen, um, ignore aspect ratio, and the only reason I say that is that a lot of people's screens, especially on laptops, but sometimes older or more obscure monitors, they have weird aspect ratios, and if you want to capture in a format that looks good on YouTube and Twitch for streaming, you want to make sure that you select both those options, but if you want to read into it, you can. Sometimes the easiest thing to do is not always the best. So you want to capture mouse cursor, and then depending on the purpose of your video, you might want to do invert cursor on click. Don't do the anti-cheat compatibility hooking. That's You don't need that. Okay, don't mess with the gamma slider. Click OK. And now you won't see anything. There's nothing extra here. And that's because I still have my screen capture going on, and... Portal 2 right now, as you can see here, is not putting out anything but a transparent screen. That's why you guys don't see the game, even though it's over that. Okay? So, now I'm going to open Portal 2. And all you should be seeing right now, and I'm going to turn the volume down. Okay, all you guys should be seeing right now is Portal 2. You should be able to see in the Steam overlay right now. And you should be able to see my mouse moving around over here and moving through the options. Okay? And if and this is what you would want to do if you're capturing a game. Now, if I was capturing the game in a window, this is still all you would see. It's just that I prefer to play a lot of games in full screen, 
And so it's all up to personal preference, really. I know some people who hate playing games in full screen and they just want a window. And that's okay. You can do that with OBS as well. But here. So you can see this. The game works fine. There might be slight delay, and that's because of my previous recording settings. But, um, I mean, the game's still capturing. And that delay is not a default setting. So if you don't do it yourself manually, there's never going to be any unexpected delay. Now, if you're using a capture card to record from a game console, I won't be covering that in this video. But that can impose some delay, like with the Elgato Game Capture HD. But as far as can capturing PC games, whether windowed or in full screen, that's how you do it. So I can just quit the game, and now you'll notice that the screen went black because there was no output, and now it's gone. And I can delete this source, and now all you're getting is my screen. So that's how you record in OBS. A couple of other things that I would say you probably want to check on before you make a real recording and not a test recording. Always make a test recording. Don't just preview stream. Preview streams useful for getting things set up, but you always want to make a test recording if possible. But um, one thing you're going to want to look out for is you want to go to settings, settings, audio, and make sure that desktop audio device is either set to default if all of your audio is going to one thing, either a headset or speakers. You want to make sure it's either set to default or specifically the thing that you are using to output the audio. Now I keep mine on default because I change my default all the time and you can do that here. You can do that down here. Right click the little audio thing and then playback devices and you can change from going to a TV to a headset. You probably already knew that. But your microphone auxiliary audio device again can probably be default but I like to make sure that it's always set to my headset because I use my webcam microphone for Skyping with people sometimes, and it has really bad quality, so I don't like to use it for videos. But again, it's all up to personal preference, and as long as you get a product that you like, it really doesn't matter what your settings are. Usually, I'd say 8 times out of 10, your video is going to look good, and it's going to be fine, especially if you render it in professional editing software and put it on YouTube. So that's all I wanted to tell you guys today. I hope it helped you out. If you liked it, leave a like. If it's your favorite, leave a favorite. Don't forget to make yourself a sandwich, and I'll see you guys next time. Soul Closet out.